Hi guys, today we're going to be working on this water marble using two shades of green. And both of these polishes are by Avon. The lighter is called Jade, and the darker is called Olive Green. And as I get going here, you'll see that they spread really well and work very well together. They are drying super slowly, which allows me to draw a lot of lines in my design. And I really like, you know, combining the different shades of the same color. Um, as much as I enjoy using complementary colors or really high contrast colors, um, sometimes just a simple combination is just as nice. So I'm kind of toying with the idea of creating a color duos playlist, kind of like um, my Addicted to Color, but on a smaller scale. You know, only two colors instead of five. So let me know what you guys think of that, if you'd be interested to uh, have them all grouped together, since I'm sure I'll be making them, whether I have a playlist for them or not. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start drawing some petal shapes in toward the center of the cup. And you just want to wipe off your orange stick after every few lines so that you don't get too much polish built up on the end. If your bullseye starts to move, just go ahead and kind of anchor it to the side of the cup and continue around the outside edge. And this is going to create kind of an abstract flower that's more uneven. If you want everything to be very symmetrical, then you need to draw the pattern in a symmetrical fashion. And by that I mean you need to go, you know, from the left and then the right, from the top and then the bottom. And that will help to keep your flower more balanced. As I just go around the outside like this, you can see it's getting uneven and is actually getting very messy in the middle of the design. But as I draw just one more line here, all this in the middle is nothing I'd want on my nail. So I'm just going to go ahead and dip my orange stick. You can see that clears up all the extra and kind of draws the colors together. But I'm not actually aiming to have this flower on my nail. So what I'm going to do is just draw kind of a wavy line through it all. And that just kind of breaks up the pattern. I have my nails prepped with one coat of jade. And I'm just going to... Actually, I'm going to turn this just a bit going to line all three of these fingers up and try to get them all to hit the water pretty much at the same time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, just going to clean up the little bit of excess that's left. You can see there's not a whole lot. And once that's out, let's go ahead and pull my nails out of the water. And there's the water marble. If you guys would like to see some more pictures of this design, you can check out my blog, mysimplelittlepleasures.blogspot.com. If you'd like to see some more from Water Marble March, you can check out the playlist in the information box, uh, along with links to all my normal playlists, the rest of my water marbles, the tips and tricks playlists, and all that good stuff. So, as always, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more marbling.